Welcome back YouTube family. Today we're delving deep into the world of YouTube metrics, specifically the often misunderstood duo of CPM and RPM. Yes, I've noticed many comments on my own videos asking how someone can achieve $50 CPM rates. Some believe there's no niche where you can attain such high CPM or RPM numbers. But today I'll delve into everything about CPM and RPM, providing real life examples to clarify. We will also learn about targeted advertisements on YouTube and other marketing stuff that every YouTuber should know before starting a YouTube channel. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand the difference between CPM and RPM, but also learn some savvy strategies to increase them and boost your earnings. So get ready with pen and paper because we're about to demystify the numbers game behind YouTube monetization. CPM or cost per mil is essentially the price advertisers pay to have their ads displayed on your channel per 1,000 views. Think of it as the revenue your business generates before any expenses are deducted. On the flip side, RPM or revenue per mil is what you as the creator actually earn after YouTube takes its share. It's your take-home pay or revenue you pocket from those ads per 1,000 views on your videos. Now let's dive deeper into CPM, the OG metric that creators have been using for quite some time to gauge their ad revenue. It's like the cornerstone of understanding your earnings on YouTube. But here's the thing, CPM only tells part of the story. It's like looking at the tip of the iceberg while missing what lies beneath the surface. Sure, it accounts for revenue solely from YouTube ads and YouTube premium, but it overlooks other important factors like revenue share. So, while it's a useful metric to track, it doesn't provide the full picture of your earnings potential. To truly grasp the essence of CPM, let's use a familiar example. Imagine you're running a lemonade stand on a hot summer's day. Each glass of lemonade you sell represents a unit of CPM. It's essentially the price you set for each glass, or in YouTube terms, how much advertisers are willing to pay per 1,000 views of their ads on your videos. Now let's talk about RPM. RPM is where the real magic happens. It's what you actually take home after accounting for YouTube's cut and other expenses. In our lemonade example, RPM would be your profit the money you pocket after deducting the cost of lemons, sugar, cups, and other expenses. It's a more comprehensive metric that gives you a clearer picture of your bottom line. So this percentage includes ads, YouTube premium, channel memberships, super chats, and super stickers. Now I hope these examples have shed some light on the concept of CPM and RPMs. Understanding CPM is crucial for anyone navigating the world of digital marketing. It's like having a compass, guiding you through the vast ocean of online content creation. So the next time you check your YouTube analytics and see your CPM fluctuating, remember the lemonade stand example. It's all about understanding the value of your content and maximizing your earnings potential. Okay, we are now well aware of these terms, but how do we increase our RPM and CPM rates? Well, after that explanation, it might be a little obvious. To understand this, let's discuss how ads work and how YouTube pays you. CPM is essentially the price advertisers are willing to pay for 1,000 ad views on your channel. Think of it as the benchmark for ad revenue potential. Now, here's where it gets interesting. CPM can vary drastically from one video to another within the same niche. Let's take an example where you're running a tech YouTube channel. Here you can publish tech reviews, news and other topics related to the tech industry. Now let's consider two videos on your channel. One is on best smartphones for shooting videos and the other is on smartphones video shooting tips. Now let me ask you a question. Which one of these topics will get a higher CPM rate? If you selected best smartphones for shooting videos, then you are correct. Yes, this video will get a high CPM rate because advertisers on YouTube are willing to pay for these types of keywords. Why? Because here, the viewer has higher buyer intent than the other video, and that is the reason this video can get a high CPM rate. Although most topics in the tech niche revolve around a $10 CPM on average, some topics can fetch high CPM rates. Advertisers have the ability to tailor their ad placements based on factors like viewer demographics, interests, and even previous online searches. This is how YouTube targeted advertising works. It's all part of a carefully orchestrated strategy to reach the right audience at the right time. Yes, you heard this right. People comment on my videos asking, how can some niches get $50 plus CPM? Is it possible or not? And I always say, yes, it is possible. It's not only about the niche, it also varies based on video topics. Your one video can get a $10 CPM rate, while other videos in the same niche can get $50 CPM rates. To understand this better, you should have a basic knowledge of digital advertisement. Stay till the end and subscribe to the channel. 
because I will definitely help you learn these concepts so that my audience can do the right things from the start of their journey. This is how targeted advertising works. Now you might be wondering, how does targeted advertising affect CPM? Well, it's simple economics. Advertisers are willing to pay a premium for placements that guarantee maximum exposure to their target audience. This means that videos with niche-specific content or high viewer engagement are more likely to command higher CPM rates. For example, a video targeting tech enthusiasts might attract bids from tech companies eager to promote their latest products, resulting in a higher CPM compared to more generic content. As I always mention, the higher the CPM, the higher the RPM or revenue you will generate. For my audience, they're familiar with using the Google AdWords free tool to access highly targeted keywords for their YouTube channel. If you're not familiar with it, you can join my newsletter for free to access the tutorial. Yes, Google owns YouTube and has access to all the data people are searching for. You may have noticed that when you watch a video on travel, the ads that appear between videos often relate to travel gear and other travel-related products and services. This is how Google advertising works. They target specific viewers for niche-specific ads. In essence, it's all about supply and demand. When there's high demand for a particular topic, advertisers are willing to pay more to get their ads in front of those eager viewers. So, if you're looking to maximize your earnings on YouTube, it pays to focus on topics with high buyer intent within your niche. I hope this clarifies things for you and helps you understand how to increase your CPM rates. To increase your RPM, you need to have more ads and views. To boost your CPM, you must create content that advertisers are willing to spend more on when they advertise. Just a reminder, all of this data is available in your dashboard. If you'd like to learn more, hit subscribe. My plan is to release three videos a week about video production, digital marketing, YouTube and blogging that will help you maximize your brand's earnings. The next video will be the second part of this topic. In it, I will give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do all these things so that you can increase your YouTube earnings in the future and work professionally. If you're interested in learning how to create faceless videos like the Body Hub YouTube channel, check out this tutorial. It provides a step-by-step -step guide that breaks down the techniques used by the Body Hub channel to produce its videos.